How is everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with some more Madden NFL 16 Draft Champions gameplay. This is week number three. As you look at our opponent right here, rocking out with Walter Jones, Anthony Sherman, and Le'Veon Bell as his top three players. If you missed our last two videos, you can, uh, you can go check out my channel and look at the uh, two games we had prior to this one, which we actually ended up winning those two. We are 2-0 on the season, looking to be 3-0. And 4 no, eventually, man. We want to get that Draft Champions pack that we can actually get those badges and uh, ultimately get that double elite player pack reward, which is probably the ultimate goal of Draft Champions at this point uh, because, you know, you really want to get some good elite players at the beginning of Madden Ultimate Team. You really want to get your team jump started, which is what we're trying to do right here, usering DeAndre Levy of the Detroit Lions. And that was a great user pick right there, although in fairness, he threw it right at me. I, I read it all the way. And uh, we're starting off the ball, I mean, pretty quickly. He just turned the ball over with ease against me. And uh, yeah, we're running the ball with Ladanian Tomlinson. If you're not aware, we do have Ladanian Tomlinson in the backfield. Probably uh, the best, one of the, if not the best running back you can get in, in uh, draft champions. Although, to be honest, he's really not been like a crazy great player. He's been really good. It's just maybe my O line is just not great enough to really uh, use his, uh, to really utilize how good of a player he is in Ultimate Team and in draft champions. As we got that touchdown right there. A strike from Peyton Manning, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time on our team. However, we really don't have a lot of options on the receiving end. You know, we don't have a great tight end or like any notable receivers at all, aside from Andrew Hawkins, who's not even a huge uh, uh, target to look at, so or to throw at. As he has Le'Veon Bell running up the middle, nice run out there. Uh, gets a nice gain of 10 yards, I believe, second and inches. As he got Cam Newton at the quarterback position. And uh, Cam Newton, you know, he's a good player, but I feel like this year's speed at the quarterback position, maybe it's just because it's early, but speed at the quarterback position really doesn't play a huge role. It's right here, I'm just whiffing on everything. And actually, I mentioned this in the previous video, I had like strafe assist and all those like uh, assist buttons where you like your player actually runs towards uh, your opponent automatically. I had those all those buttons turned off because I was automatically set my game mode to all mad. And so like I was having defensive blunders left and right, you'll see. Uh, as you saw last video, actually, I had that as well. And then we're getting the toss play at the LT, and we almost get the edge and get a nice gain, but uh, was too. I just outran my old line right there, to be honest. Running another screenplay. Screenplays are really nice this year, and I kind of overdid it right there. As we got Peyton Manning in the backfield, I can't believe this was a first down. We did get the ball past the, the first down marker and pick up that first down as we are heading into the second quarter, tied 7-all right here. Wait, uh, I tried to, I, I pressed rack catch right there. I didn't press possession catch. And uh, just to kind of mention Madden NFL 16, been having a whole bunch of fun with this game as I mentioned in my previous video. But it's a pretty good game, man. Like, there isn't a whole bunch of BS. And at least early in Madden, it's something that you can enjoy, you know, playing draft champions, not having to worry about anything that's too annoying. As we get LaDainian Tomlinson in the screenplay, getting a nice 51 yard receiving touchdown. I'm trying to celebrate, trying to get him out quick so I can get those draft champions badges as quick as possible. But. Credit to my opponent, he did stay in the game throughout its entirety, so that's awesome. Uh, as we go up 14-7, he's got Keyshawn Martin returning the kick down to his own 25-yard line. Cam Newton in the backfield. Uh, surprised he didn't run the ball a little bit more because Walter Jones is a monster, but did get a really nice screen pass right there, Le'Veon Bell. Uh, as he's got time to strike back quickly, uh, but he hasn't really shown me anything too insane offensively. I'm not too concerned yet because he had one fluke. Uh, play in my opinion on his offensive touchdown as he gets a nice pass across the middle can't even uh, say anything about that as I just was in the wrong place at the wrong time as look at Von Miller a pass rusher in zone coverage picking him off right there and that could be a huge turn of events right there because if we get points on the board I think we get ball half I'm not sure but if we get ball at half and we get some more points on the board it's extremely hard to come back three possessions in any game let alone a game where it's draft champions there's only four minute quarters although I guess that's pretty decent time but I'm gonna be chewing the clock if I get three possession lead I don't care what you say as look at uh, Fells right here, double juke inside, and we get another touchdown again, trying to celebrate, t trying to get my opponent out of the game quick so we can advance to the next week, but we go up two scores late in the second quarter. And uh, Draft Champions, I mean, it makes sense why so many people are saying this game mode is their favorite. The fact that you can draft your team basically and are given options of, of the type of team you want to build is pretty awesome. I love that. I love like the concept. Like the fact that they made that game mode this year makes Madden 16 so much better, like by itself. But the game mode, like like the game of Madden 16 itself, is also improved. I think the graphics have improved. Obviously, on a yearly basis, it's hard to improve anything. And I really apologize right there that I wasn't able to get uh, a lot of the clips. Uh, of the end of the uh, second quarter right there it did cut off like right at the very end I had like a really nice user interception, but either way we are continuing and going back to what I was saying about Madden 16 like 
it just seems like a, such a smoother game. I like the run after the catch, the possession, the possession catch, and the aggressive catch uh, choices. The, dif the the defensive back like uh, IQ is so much better. Like I've gotten so many like it's so much more realistic when people just chuck it up. You really should the ball really should tip up in the air a couple times and your player should get interceptions. That's what's happened to me. Uh, this game's turning into a blowout, but. Uh, th there is times where guys just chuck it out last year, and then it, there was no con there was no consequences for it. In fact, you were rewarded for doing it. You were rewarded for throwing against uh, three defenders with a six five receiver and catching it. You were rewarded with big plays. This year, you're not rewarded with that. Usually, deep throws aren't as accurate as they are last as they were last year, and oftentimes it results in an interception right there. Again, you see how my player goes dumb. I I was clicking like uh, strafe right there or hold. Uh, I was holding wide ball hawk and it just wasn't working. As we get a user big with George Iloka, and at this point he is conceded. He's he's out field goal block, and Robert Meacham's gonna walk into the end zone. So try not to waste your time, guy, uh, right here. Trying to, I'm gonna cut the clips a little short uh, in this next quarter. Trying to go a little bit quicker. Trying to get you guys out of here and not waste any of your time as I continue to talk about Madden NFL 16 and the improvements that they have made upon this game uh, as opposed to last year, where it was really a bad. A really bad year and look at that look at that return by Keyshawn Martin can't believe he even got out of there but did get the touchdown right there as we are going to come away with this game uh, with a victory as we're gonna go into the fourth week and going to the championship game I think I'll bring this game to you guys uh, this game will be released on Saturday so probably by Sunday you will see the championship game and see whether or not we actually have the ability to uh, win the championship against our opponent because I think I'm not certain if they actually match you up against another player who's actually playing in their final game but if they do then we're definitely going to be playing a better opponent I can tell you right now we do play a better opponent as we get Kyrie Robinson up the middle the game is over at this point we're up like what 21 just killing the clock at this point uh, credit to my opponent for staying in the game you know obviously you really want to see that but once again, man, just really want to pump out some videos to you guys. This will be the conclusion of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more Madden NFL 16 content. We'll be coming out as soon as I can uh, make a video about it. And, uh, you know, look out for some other stuff. I will be posting Seattle Seahawks preseason game analysis as well as post-game analysis of their uh, preseason game against the San Diego Chargers this week. Uh, on Saturday, you know, Peyton Manning had a really good game right here. You see 13 of 16, 319 yards and 5 TDs. My opponent, I feel like in draft champions in general right now, I've been playing guys who aren't so experienced. So once again, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And yep, thanks for watching.